There are three boxes. They move slow. Ah, expensive shit is now showing up. What do we got in this? Okay. So, bought a KitchenAid mixer. Um, made muffins the first day, first time I used it with Princess Pasta. Um, I would have made it a little sweeter, but that's fine. Uh, I bought all, oh, I'm sorry to buy the accessories. So this, I don't know if this is an official. This might be an official. You know, here's the thing. They make a ton of accessories that are not official. And I'm okay with that. Because literally this output and this output are pretty fucking universal. So this is a dough hook. I don't think I have a dough. I, I have this, which is a different type of dough hook. It's longer. So this might be actually too small, but we're gonna find the fuck out. As long as it mounts here. And the system is real, like dirt simple, like bot simple. Like it just does that. And you lift the bowl up. Which I don't like, I would rather the thing like, like this instead of like back and forward, but I guess I understand why. And then you just, you'd be like, yeah, make me some dough, motherfucker. And then you drop it and you make a lot of noise. So I'm gonna redo this cabinet here because this cabinet's useless. I'm gonna redo this cabinet by basically removing, this is supposed to be the spice shelf. And the thing is, I'm six feet tall and I, could, I can't reach the, like I could just touch the back of the, that one and then if you open it this way, it's like, well, what the, what person that's not six feet tall can't use this fucking thing? So I'm gonna use this to store all of my things for the, obviously not like this. Not like this, but I'll take this thing out and then this cabinet can hold all of my accessories for the KitchenAid. So let's get some more accessories out for the KitchenAid. Cause I really want to like up my game in the food making. Like if you don't have a, I don't have a blender either. I mean, I got this massive kitchen and I've got like 10% of the items I need. Like no one needs that except for people with sleep apnea. That's just a, a water distillery. I got the air fryer, which was a gift. Got the secondary fridge for body parts. Just humans and animals alike, just keep them in there. But then I've got nothing, toaster oven. This is nice to have, the induction cooktop, but I really don't have, like my rock pans don't work, so this is the only one that works in it, my big lodge. So it's kind of useless. Now there's one that's got a scrapey side, because I was making, when I was making the thing, I was like, I really wish this got closer to the edge. So now this, is not for this size. I bought the wrong one. Although you know what, it'll still do its job. You know, this is obviously for the five quart. I may have to return this. The other hook's probably for the five quart too. I it didn't even dawn on me to think about it. They should have different spokes, but they don't. I guess I could still use this for something else. So it was like $13. I'll get one that actually scrapes the bowl later and we'll have an extra one. Here, here now I have actual KitchenAid ones. I don't know, but this doesn't count for the size of the uh, head. The, the takeoff in the front, the PTO in the front doesn't matter. It's the stuff you put inside that matters and I didn't, I was just on an ordering rampage. So I may have to return some stuff. Oh yeah. All that I think of is Pink Floyd when I open something like this and see a meat grinder. This is a pushy rod. Push, push. We've got, it's rubberized on the bottom, preventing me from standing it up. Got a cleaner brush. Oh yeah. Please tell me this is all dishwasher safe, for the love of God. We've got different extractors. We're making sausages and things. Oh yeah, baby, little sausages, big sausages. Got those. This is why I need that entire cabinet. We have got the actual Pink Floyd grinder assembly here if you haven't go seen pink floyd's the wall go do it so that that's heavy got another thing i've never used a meat grinder before i don't know what's going on i'm just gonna rip this one slightly smaller holes i guess you'd call that a die almost one two three i think we've got everything now the main the main unit oh baby Oh baby, this is a unit, all right. And there's your ex your other die. If you pull this out, 
you've got so we got a propeller blade this is one that squishes it against and pushes it out the, the different dies you have three different dies this goes somewhere in here for some other activity you've got the blade wand and you got the Ooh, you got the corkscrews. This is what's actually driven by the machine. Just straight through the back. There's nothing else. And then you can see all the, uh, the, the, the fillets, the rifling, the reverse rifling that just grinds again. That's why it's a meat grinder. It's going to pull it all the way through. It gets slightly wider. And I don't think this comes, oh, it does come off. So you now you have this part. The feed tray, you've got this part, which is all single, one single piece with a nylon insert there. And so you can take this all apart and wash it. Hopefully, if it's stainless steel, you could wash it. If it's any of this is aluminum, you can't wash it, but I don't think any of this is stainless steel. So let's put this back together. Um, we'll do the medium one. It's got a little notch to hold it at the bottom. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There, there's that. <laughs> so I can make my own sausages. And then if you were going to put, like if you really wanted to go nuts, you would then put this over it. And then it'll grind it and squeeze it through a tube. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the power of this. So you could use it without that if you're going real straight meat. And you got the little notch and the little pin. So you would do this. You would do this. Unscrew this. Get it, get it lined up. Put in the notch. And then we're ready to meat grind. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's don't stick your finger in there. It'll come out of here in all little pieces. Oh. I got nothing to meat grind for you right now, boys and girls. I'm so sorry. So yeah, that's, that's part of the machine. Welcome, my friend. Welcome to the machine. Okay. Uh, instructions are really nice, like foam fit for everything. I'm, I'm, I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, metal food grinder, it's like $90. Fuck. With the, with the garlic and everything, oh, okay. So I'll read the instructions for this. And I don't want to lose any of the bits for it. And I made sure this one was an official KitchenAid. I wasn't going to cheap out on some of these items. Like, I don't give a shit if it's not made by KitchenAid. But some, like this one, is like, nope. Want the metal one? Want the one that's going to last forever? Fuck you. Fuck you and your face. Your whole face. Your face whole, in fact. Let's see what else we got. That might be KitchenAid related. KitchenAid accessories. A doodar, a doodar. KitchenAid accessories. Oh, dar doodar day. Yes. Oh, is this the big one? Oh, we're doing a double. We've got the KitchenAid food processor with dicing kit. And this is the uh, the metal finish. There was a plastic one that was slightly cheaper. This was like $180. So I paid $400 for the mixer itself at Costco because it's a six quart and you gotta wait for the six quart. And now it's just like, all right, well, there's no point in having to just mix things. Let's get into it. Oh. Am I gonna separate all these, these two things together? No, we're good. Oh my gods. Get ready. Get ready. Never go half ass. Always go whole ass. <sighs> Whoop. But there was one piece and shaking the styrofoam out, it was not gonna happen. Looks like we have a tube within a tube, two different seals. There's fucking foam nuggets. <sighs> ah, they're fucking, God, son of a bitch, whore. It's the, it's the shitty foam that I hate, the static clinging onto everything. Lots of different sex, sex things in there. I'm kidding, don't have sex with anything in there. Unless it's the last time you're having sex, like you're the praying mantis of sex. Please don't, don't make me, don't make me do things. Okay, here you go. Hate this foam, you could see them all, little bits of it all over the place. 
Get off my fucking, ah, it's on the floor. Okay. This is a quality. I can tell you from the feel of this lid, this is quality. What is that? What am I looking at here? Vent? Just a hit? Like what, what is this? I don't understand the purpose of it or how it functions. It's like, it's got so many vents and blades. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, here is the food processor attachment. Oh God itself. Okay, that falls out. So, I've never owned a food processor in my life. I remember them being a big thing back in the day and I'd never had one, you know? Everyone went switch to these fancy fucking in insane, um, what's it called? Blenders, like blend text and stuff. But this, this is what I remember as a kid. Everyone had the goddamn food processors. And they were like, oh my God, my food processor processes so much food. Patent pending, not dishwasher safe. Obviously this bit's not dishwasher safe, but all the inserts that have food touch it is dishwasher, dishwasher safe. So you put this and then you put this, but before you put this in this, like this, you have to put a thing in there because we're gonna process food. You push the food down with this or with this, depending on the size of your food thing, you push it down. But this is where the magic happens. This is where we process that food. Sliding, oh. It's a nice piece of plastic, take that out. We have got just, you just, you could just push. Does that even need to be there? How does that work? Oh, you would have a chop and then dice. So you got just a dice game. Dice game. Oh, yep, here's our pusher for that. Specifically designed to push. So that you would run. I don't get it. How does that work? Because this is just to push through that. That is definitely for that. Yeah, see? But to have access to that, that's weird. Okay, so now we've got, ooh, this is the murder slicer. Look at that thing, oh my God. That's just two very heavy blades, that's so thick. It's like the world's slowest blender attachment. How's that go? Hold on. I need to read instructions. How does this even fucking function? Because this doesn't hit that. Oh, because this isn't being engaged. There's like a lockout here, but that isn't doing it either. I have no idea. Oh! No. Oh, this, this is going up and down and is actually rotating something up and down in this to make the size of the slices. Cause now we've got this fucking scary apparatus. These are all dishwasher safe. That is just a, just blade on the end. That's like, mm, that's scary. That's a scary one. This is the back scratcher attachment. That looks terrifying. This is medium shredding. That's a juice, julienne, and medium shredding. And then we got this son of a bitch. Oh Lord, did that move? That is, that, that's a moving one. That slicing of different thicknesses. Adjustable slicing thin to thick. So like these notches here match in there. So if I go like this, now this. will adjust where it sits to do the slicey slice, mix slicer slice. And then what else we got? Just a brush. Like the, the, the I have, the, the, everything's labeled. Like whatever, where everything has to go. What's the murder one called? What are you called? I just gotta figure out how it actually functions. I may have to read a book. Because mounting this up, Seems easy enough. It's the same mounting system on everything. There's something here. Oh, I know how this works. It won't engage the clutch until this is... All right, let's put it together. 
Okay. Because usually on these things, you just push it down and then it activates. But you have a motor that's constantly spinning. You're not deactivating or reactivating the, um, the thing. So this here is your catch. So we go in and then we go like that. And now this, yeah, there we go. Oh my God, that is number one, hard to spin by hand. But that is your hand chopper 9000. Do I have a carrot? I have celery. We're going to do celery again. I should probably spend more time reading the instructions. But um, instead, oh, don't lose this. I feel like I need a second one of these for when it gets lost. Put that in there. Nice, nice and tight. Probably not the most official use right now, but YOLO. YOLO McSwag. I guess this is what it's supposed to do. For this particular one, can I adjust the height of that? I don't think that one does anything for this, no. Why does my switch just occasionally not work? Oh, damn. Do not put finger in there. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, no, okay. And we did, and then you undo it this way. And now this can't actually activate anymore because it's free flowing. So you can take that out. God, I love the smell of fresh. So I don't know how, you, how you're supposed to use this one for chopping fucking like weeds down. Make a sausage and uh, so yeah, this is supposed to be in there to push, but it would just fall straight out. So unless there's something I'm supposed to put underneath it. Oh, maybe when you're using that one, you're supposed to use this one so that it stops, slices and pushes through. Oh, that would make more sense. Hold on, let's test this. Let's test this theorem of mine. I like discovering things on my own, thank you. Oh. Okay, well that just sits there, so it's not like pushing down. Oh, it doesn't feel like it has a lot of smooth rotational mass on this. All right, like that, put that back here. One, two. So now, yeah, but no, that's just gonna throw it around in a circle at this point. It's not even gonna do that. Ooh, I don't like the way that made sound. It did, however, push it that far. And then you would push more on top of it and it would just push, push, push and give you little cubes. And then you have to use the thing to push through the last little bit. So yeah, that's my KitchenAid unboxing. I'll learn it. I'll learn it. There we go. So some of those are much smaller. Should we check the last box in case the last box has more KitchenAid stuff? Oh, it might. One more. One more. I gotta fill up a whole dishwasher with just brand new KitchenAid shit to wash it. Hey, things I don't have to actually unbox. Congratulations. Hefty bags, I always need more hefty bags. I keep running out, so I've increased the speed. These I really don't need. Uh, I, these are what, a six, six tablets and I have two dishwashers. So this should be a three month supply of A-Fresh dishwasher cleaners. And I have just like tons of them. Just, I don't do them as a regular thing. So what I do is instead of you put them in for the first wash and only the first wash, and then it's done. And then whatever the fuck this Bing Fu is. Oh, my Wi-Fi extension. Boarded this yesterday. Um, my little computer that sits back there. It was on the wrong Wi-Fi network, which didn't help, but having it behind this television and metal rack has been a fucking nightmare. So I bought little uh, antenna extensions, which we can check. 
because this wall, these wallpapers that it's going through, or these waifus it's going through, are on the network. So I know when my network goes down, when they go white, when it's just like failed to load. I also stole this antenna off a router I have in the basement that's not in use. Because the one I bought, I bought like an extended one, this one, and it was not helping. It's just, it's just was too long. And it is a Wi-Fi specific antenna. So let's see. It should still have some Wi-Fi connectivity, even if it's unplugged, but not gonna be great. Now we'll put this in here. The real test is playing HD content. So now I should be able to mount this like up here and have it, this would be a perfect 3D printing and uh, 3D print test. Mount that here or there and then have that read my Wi-Fi. So yeah, good, 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 bye.